Hi, I'm Andrew O'Connor, O'Connor Painting and Restoration. We're here in downtown Trenton, New Jersey for restoration work on the Old Barracks Museum. It's the oldest working Revolutionary War period museum in the country. We're here for maintenance and repairs to the officer's house and the main barracks building. These two structures hadn't been painted in many years, so they needed restoration work. The wind that comes up from the Delaware and the direct sunlight from most of the afternoon takes its toll on the front of this building. So it was time for painting and repairs to some of the trim woodwork. I'm Rich Patterson, the executive director of the Old Barracks Museum here in Trenton. The Old Barracks has local and national significance. If anybody you know, across the nation knows anything about Trenton, it's that Washington once crossed the Delaware and came here to chase the Hessians out of Trenton. So that was the famous Battle of Trenton on December 26th of 1776. We here at the Old Barracks Association have like a dual obligation. We present these important pieces of American history, uh, these important stories and lessons to the general public and to school kids. And we're also an economic generator for the city, you know, bringing in tourism. But we're also responsible for our most important artifact, the building itself. And as any kind of structure, it has wear and tear just from the sun, from the wind, you get little critters that like to eat things that don't occur in nature, like buildings. We're here in the back of the officer's house and the challenges to the restoration work are unique here because the Thomas Edison building was erected about a hundred years ago and it left this entire back side in shadow. So the crown molding and some of the dental trim along the roof line was badly rotted and had to be replaced. And we also power washed uh, years of mildew and green along the stonework. We're also replacing the stairs at the main barracks building that faces the parade grounds. The stringers and risers are in rough condition in many of the stair sets. The columns and posts are showing signs of heavy water damage. We're inside the officer's house now. The challenge was to paint these window boxes, which are very deep, and these four over three double hung windows. We had to paint the mullions and the frames and some trim at the bottom. This is an example of one of the pieces that we had help with from the Tichia's Custom Woodworking. They were able to cut the lathe for that base piece in the column. What you see now is just a pink primer. It's an oil primer on this base and it's almost completed. And on the front of the steps here, we did concrete tuck pointing on the risers here just to make sure that the holes were all filled and the stairs looked nice and sturdy. Well, right here we used a two-part epoxy wood filler to fill in the missing wood that had rotted away. After the wood filler was installed here, we simulated the grain on the rest of the wood to make it look even and consistent. With some help from our friends at Benjamin Moore, we got a recommendation for their advanced paint in the high gloss finish for its sharp look and durable finish. We'd like to make sure that we send out a broad invitation to all of you to come here and see a piece of New Jersey's revolutionary history. Don't let your kids be the only ones who experience this place when they come in a little yellow school bus. There's an awful lot of neat stuff here for the entire family to enjoy. Lots of complex and fascinating stories. And it's part of your history. We look forward to seeing you here at the Old Barracks Museum in Trenton, New Jersey.